In 2015, she was a journalism intern looking for her big break. She went to a restaurant to discuss a job opportunity with her boss from the Tokyo Broadcasting System, but she claims that he then drugged and raped her. Our perspective guest today is the women's rights campaigner Shiori Ito, who joins us now live from London. Thank you very much for being with us here on uh, France 24. First of all, this must clearly have been a very a brave decision to make three years ago to come out and accuse such a high-profile uh, biographer, a high-profile journalist, but you were adamant that this story had to be told. Yes, um, because I think no one wants to share such a private and horrific experience of rape, and I didn't want to, but I wanted, what I wanted to do is to change what I experienced afterwards in Japan um, there is so little help that we have in Japan, um, socially and legally, and that is the main reason why I spoke out. When you did, though, decide to come forward, you were met with, a, with somewhat of a barrage of negativity, of hate mail and uh, public criticism. How do you explain that negative reaction to your ordeal? Well, culturally, rape is quite a taboo topic and also it has strong stigma against um, rape victims. So I was aware what sort of reaction I would get after speaking up. But I was, uh, I would say, was much more than I expected. I got threats uh, for my life, um, backlash, online violence. And in the end, I had to move to London away from fa my family. So it wasn't easy things to do. Your attacker, uh, just to talk about him very, very briefly, your attacker continues to deny all uh, wrongdoing in this whole affair. But have your claims, given that he's so high profile, have your claims changed people's perceptions of him in Japan? Um, I feel that, yes, there is um, positive change um, slowly but surely in Japan as well, after the Me Too movement as well. Um, what I wanted to do to speak out is to be able to create um, the space to be able to talk about such a um, sensitive topic. And it's been quite a boot topic to talk about, even in Japanese media. And uh, media is one of the male dominated industry we have in Japan. But, but I think but, but it's slowly but ha changing. But has your attacker faced any kind of backlash in the way that Harvey Weinstein did in Hollywood? How do, can, could you say, repeat again? Yeah, has your attacker faced any kind of backlash in Japan in the way that Harvey Weinstein did or has done in Hollywood? Um, I, I, I'm not sure what he have received. I haven't been communicating with him. But um, I, I believe so, but this entire um, um, well, reality and what I spoke out isn't, I, I didn't do this to accuse him. Of course, he should. This is not my work to do. It should have been. Um, if our social and legal system was working properly, I didn't have to do anything. So why the reason why I'm speaking out is to ask Japan and Japanese society what we are missing. You have, of course, been campaigning, as you've been saying, for the actual terminology about the, the word rape or, or, or sexual assault in criminal law in Japan to be changed. Talk us through and explain to us why that terminology is currently so confusing. Um, so, well, we used to have, since last year, we had 110 years of rape law. Um, so before, if you rape someone, you'd go to jail for three years, and if you steal something, you'd go to jail for five years. So, what, you know, objects were more worse than women. Um, so it has changed, so it is making a progress, but uh, it's just culturally, um, socially, it's quite a taboo topic for women to speak up about sexual violence. But has, in your view, anything changed in Japan since the Harvey Weinstein scandal? Is it now more easy for women to come forward and say, you know what, I've been raped, I've been sexually abused? Um, I haven't yet heard a big Me Too movement when it comes to rape. But uh, there was one um, very brave uh, female reporter who talked about her sexual harassment anonymously. And the reason why we had to 
cover our identity is because we've been often targeted and I have to say Me Too movement, to say Me Too is quite dangerous in Japan. So we came up to say We Too so no one can target me or individual. Okay, uh, Shi Ori Ito uh, there in uh, London, thank you very much.